What was your crazy prediction for KD? Tracy's going to judge you. I say, no, I don't have no confidence in this or minor confidence, but I said, let's go. Let's get him to the Knicks. Let's revive New York basketball. They think they have a shot. He's he's a mysterious figure. The Warriors spent most of last year sort of like confused by him and flummoxed by him. I think some of them were afraid he might leave after last season until they got through Houston. So I'm saying let's go, Knicks. Revive New York City basketball. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You guys not are crazy. both getting a phone call from Steve Kerr not, after not this Not crazy, show. I mean. We're not. They know. They know what's in play. KD could possibly have three championships, you know, or two. Um, take on a new challenge. Revive New York. Mm -hmm. If the unicorn is still there, I think there they go. will be a damn good tandem there. And, and I think it's, a, it's like the LeBron. The LeBron the has Eastern set Conference? the roadmap, right? LeBron has said it's, it's said it's okay to go to a team that's going to take some time and be the centerpiece of a younger team and go experiment. And, and I've talked to a lot of GMs about this this summer. And a few of them made a really good point that the big free agents this summer, most of them, have all won championships. Kawhi Leonard, uh, Kevin Durant. Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, if we want to still talk about him as a free agent, these guys aren't going to be ring chasing. They're going to, they're not going to have the pressure to have to go to find themselves by winning somewhere. Does that help LeBron get a great player in LA? Like, you can go be the guy somewhere. Mm -hmm. You can go sort of pick comfort and market and all those things where, the, like, it's harder for LeBron to go to the Lakers if he hadn't won a championship in Cleveland. Right. Now, right. he'd already won the two. Right. Yeah. It would have been harder to leave Cleveland. And another thing with KD in New York, too, he has taken a lot of heat from fans in the move to the uh, State. Warriors. He has shown at times to be sensitive about that. What he would experience in New York, which would be different than Oklahoma City or well, any State, place in, in any city in the league, for right. sure. He would get it from the home fans. He's never but gotten that before. I, see, would, no matter how much you win in New York, they're going to say, but you didn't do this yet. You didn't do this. I disagree. Go I feel like, I I feel like New York year, is the perfect place. Yeah. You have a huge majority of people. I mean, that's a big city. That's five or six million people the, who suddenly you're their guy. Right. And all and all of a sudden, no matter what you do, the you're the one year, who came back. Right. And as you said, what, pumped up, saved New York basketball. And then all of a sudden, the proportion of NBA fans, just because the New York fan until, base is so until big. Until you get to the conference semis and you don't get to the conference finals. The first year, I agree with that. But but the minute that you better win, right? And and I think LeBron's going to find that in LA too. You are not ju you are judged by the history of the Lakers. The great players win championships, and you're going to be judged differently. You're not going to be judged by any other standard. And I think in New York, if he goes there, he just has to be ready for that because you will become a target very quickly when you don't do more than you did last year. I think I think the standard for the Knicks is just like competence. Right. Like it's like just, just after 20 years of this, like are you are we competent? Okay, that's well, that's about, great. Everyone's going to throw a party. Are we making the playoffs more than once? In a, you know what I mean? In a decade? Like I mean, these things are. The, did we not <laughs> trade the did we, did we not trade the, the number nine win. Pick for Andrea you know, Bargnani? Thumbs up. Just that. Um, all right, crazy MVP prediction, Zach Lowe. I'm going Giannis. I I, I just think the the stars are going to align. I think the Bucks are going to be really good. He's by far their best player. He's a top five player in the league. And I, you know, I don't, I mean, LeBron, I think, will be the sentimental favorite. Do the Lakers finish high enough? Do the Pelicans finish high enough? And there seems to already, he only won once, but there seems to already be voter fatigue with James Harden. It just, <laughs> like, I don't understand. You think it's crazy? That's less crazy than the other one. <laughs> no, this is, this is crazy. And the reason why I say that is because Milwaukee is not even going to be a top three, top four seed. They're not going to be a good enough team for him to win the MVP. We disagree. No. Really? So yeah. you you think this is a top four team in the East Eastern uh, Conference? I think I think their floor now, should be. I think their floor should be four. Now I agree. He is a good enough player. I just think his team is not good enough for him to achieve the the, well, the award. But, but then who? So do you do you go Harden then? Because the Warriors guys will cancel out each other. They'll never win again as long as they're playing together. I don't think the Pelicans aren't going to finish higher than four. Are, are, are they? we talking about this year? Yeah. Yeah. LeBron James is the MVP of this year. So the team criteria doesn't apply to him, or do you have the Lakers top four in the West? Yeah. Yeah. Lakers top four. Yeah. Wow. I do not have in the Lake Lakers top four. Even even if they don't get top four, I just think LeBron, what he's going to do to elevate the Lakers to a place they haven't been in in a, in a while, um, is is going to trump what Giannis is able to do for Milwaukee. And, and I think Mike Budenholzer's arrival in Milwaukee is going to elevate uh, Giannis's candidacy. I think the the, um, the ball movement, the spacing there. Um, how they'll use him, how, uh, how creative and imaginative 
Budenholzer is, I think makes him a better candidate this year because that team will be better because Bud is there. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I think you're hard in point, Zach. I don't get it. Well, look, James finished in the top of voting for a few years. He fi finally won it, right, that sort of thing. And then in the playoffs, when he sort of had the chance to sort of carry on the team on his back after Chris Paul went down, I don't think it helped him in a lot of fans' eyes that when the exact same thing was going on in the Eastern Conference and LeBron basically had to lug right. everyone over with him to beat what was a, at that point of, had proven itself already to be while depleted a very talented Celtics team James didn't do that same thing in the West and I think that MVP voters are going to wait for him to win a title before they reward him with the MVP again interesting just the way I'm mean, just from looking at the patterns of the way this works right I, I mean just just the way you look at how people vote